Hello everybody, welcome back to the road to Canfall. Today we're, we're slowly walking across the road to Canfall. Uh, what is Canfall? It's some kind of funny high resistance thingy. Yeah, it's probably a, a metal of a high resistance or something. I don't know. I don't know how the EBF works because it's not a real machine. Ha. Huh. You see, the thing that is a real machine is a gigantic arc furnace, like the ones we have upstairs. Those are real. I'm kind of confused with the, with, with, what the heck is this EBF? How does this work? How does this EBF work? You know what? It doesn't matter. We need we need to actually uh, take care of iron stuff. I believe to make all of the coils needed, we need about like... Uh, and it's not going to be forgiving at all. I know for a fact that these Canfall coils are going to be the most expensive pieces of garbage I ever have to make. We're going to need two stacks of this. We are going to need two stacks. You all know what it means. That means we are going to need a lot of chrome. Where the heck did this come from? Get that back in the box. Get that back in the box. Okay, what are we doing? We need to shred some iron. In fact, the amount we're going to need to shred is just around 32. That will give us like, uh, a lot. No clue. Not even doing the math. We're just, we're just doing this. So, you all remember how we made the chrome stuff? Well, let's figure out how to do that again. Because I think we really need to. Also, what the heck are we doing with this carbon dioxide? What the heck is this oxygen doing? What is anything in this setup doing? Syngas, what do you do here? How do you get to... What? How do you get the chromium trioxide? First, you must make sodium dichromate. You must make sodium dichromate by distilling sodium dichromate solution, which is made by continuous third tank reactor action of... Sulfuric acid on sodium chromate solution, which is made by sodium chromate mixture dust, which is made in a rotary kiln. I'm glad- I hope you understood that. Uh, so we need to make a lot of this. I don't know how we're gonna make a lot of this. It needs chromite, which we get from the nether. And also we need to turn trona into sodium bicarbonate. Actually, no. So sodium carbonate. Soda ash. So the first step is to roast Trona. And we've covered this before. I don't know why we're covering it again. But we're gonna need to automate this. So I think we are going to take on the challenge of automating Chrome. What the heck is this? Dang. I need to check my notifications because it might be important. It might be important. This is going near the other stuff because automating this is super important. Anyway, this needs to be easily accessible, easily able to send out items back through the system. So when we get Trona, we shove it in here, and it does good things, we can just send it out. Now, Trona is produced down in the sifting setup down here. I don't know if we still got any. We I probably lo looted it all. Like, this is one of those setups where you just come here, you loot what you need, uh, you see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, we have Borax, 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 and tons of Trona. No sodium chloride. Oh wait, no, actually, we do have some sodium chloride. Why do we need so? Don't ask. We just need the sodium chloride. But we also need a Trona too, and we have like four stacks of this. Two hundred fifty-six of Trona. Let's call it Trona. Sounds cooler. Trona. Dang. Anyway, let's go ahead and process this. Throw the system here. Just give it some time, and it should do its job. And this is kind of important that we get this done before we get the poly uh, tetrafluoroethylene set up because the poly tetrafluoroethylene. This is a thing that we need to make. That's coming soon. Sooner than expected, in fact. Uh, anyway, once we got all this Trona, we're gonna shove it into here. Actually, no, once we got all the other stuff, we're gonna shove it into here. Soda ash. Nice. And then we'll get the processing later. Because our iron dust is finally completed, we can go head over to the medium voltage mixing machine, which is found in the cryogenic processing area. The reason it's found here is because, well, we only have one of these guys. The rest of them, uh, don't ask. We don't have any more. That's just the simplest answer. Uh-oh, I set it to the wrong setting. Whoops. I have no clue what I just made. Ferrochrome. You kidding me? I don't want your ferrochromium. Wait a second. What? No way. No way. Give... what... Hold on a second, this ferrochromium, what the heck is this? Can I separate the ferrochromium? Hold on. 
Well, dang, this is another casualty of the the Great Chrome War. Yeah, and uh, we need more chromium. We actually need more. Where are the active never brick jump from? You're not supposed to make never brick. You're supposed to make the other stuff, which is the stuff we actually need chrome. All right, friends, we're going to need to go get more. Wait, actually, let's go check the other thing. I need to send the boron back to the boron plant. Now you can get boron, Trana, from non-marine non evaporite deposits. We have a meager quantity of 24 cantho. Which is going to need to go through that guy over there eventually. Now then, let's enable super ultimate drill mode. Because if you make a blue steel drill, you can do this. Now if you use this mode inside your base, what's going to happen is you're going to have a very bad day. All of your stuff will be destroyed. Everything you worked so hard for. But, we're not using this for the base. We're using it for this big old deposit we got right here. Let's mine it. And it should just, it literally just mines the whole thing all the way to the top. Oh my. No, 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 no. That's bad. Okay, we just lost. So many casualties, so many casualties there. Okay, well then, we'll have to just ignore the fact that uh, we just lost all of a large quantity of stuff. Alright, so if we just mine down a bit... Don't walk off the edge, we'll just die instant- that literally is instant death. You walk off that cliff, you're dead. <laughs> We're not doing that today though, thank goodness. Holy crap, this place is the most dangerous place we've ever been. In fact, this is literally one block thin. Uh, you guys, I think we're gonna need a new Kimberlite deposit pretty soon. Oh my. Lots of Kimberlite. I do see some Smith's Knight, which is a source of, I believe it's zinc carbonate. Don't ask me what Roman numeral the zinc is, because I have no clue. I don't know the formula for it. Oh my. That is a huge vein. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. It's just on the ceiling. What the heck? Who puts put this much on the ceiling. No way, there's more over here. Dang. Let's get this one instead. This one's easier. I just got mine up to it. 896 and this Kimberlite is about to get sent through the system of which which will process it down into the chromite, the diamonds, basically a whole bunch of good stuff if you could consider it such. Uh, you have to make sure not to get the netherrack in there, because otherwise you'll end up with nether bricks. And nobody wants those. They only want Kimberlite. Because it's actually good. This is all netherrack, I think. So we're gonna take this 10 chromite down to the particle... Not particle accelerator. The funny machine. The tube of doom. Yeah, this thing here. We're gonna roast it. Wait, what is this? I don't even know. Just throw it in the machine and we'll do its stuff, right? That's an output bus, what? It goes in the, this side? With the other stuff? I thought it went against it. What, what, what? Huh? Why? Why? Well, I can only assume that the machine does not have enough oxygen. So we're gonna go get some oxygen. We're gonna take out the carbon dioxide using a pipe too. Now, I bet you all did not know this, or not. I don't even know if I show you all the actual uh, steam room, but there's actually a gigantic tank in the steam generator hole over here which has a bunch of oxygen in it. That is the secondary oxygen storage. Yes, because the main oxygen is now full. And it's on. Look at that beautiful machine go. Love this thing. This is the rotary kiln, and it's going to make the wonderful substance we're looking for. That's, that's not enough sodium chromate mixture. <laughs> it, needs, it needs more sodium chromate mixture. We need more soda, soda ash, it looks like. We're gonna have to plunge the roaster. Well, actually, we could set up the pipes for the roaster. Alright, so this uh, quadruple copper pipe from back in the day is going to take out the fluids from this guy, and basically we're going to use him to pull out the fluids, move them, and then get them to where they need to go, because there is a bunch of fluids in there. And there's no way I'm going to be able to pipe, spaghetti pipe them around everything else. Plus, it saves on pumps, which is the most expensive thing you could ever make. Now, this is clearly one of the worst places you could ever uh, imagine trying to get into because this setup is like um, the pipes here. Rather annoying. Also, what is that damage from? Hunger. Alright, so we really have to squeeze these piping setups. Oh, 
Nope, I don't know what I just shoved steam into, but it's, it's causing a gigantic explosion. Uh, <laughs> oh, guys. That's a, that's an entire steam pipe, uh, polyethylene pipe and just caught on fire. Oh my, I can't even get up there to extinguish it. We need to climb up there. Come on, let me go up there. I don't know what that pipe was piping, but it was clearly not piping anything at the time that we connected the steam pipe to it on accident. Um, thankfully, it's only this guy who got destroyed for some reason. And I don't need to worry about anything else, hopefully. Oh my! Wow. That is... Quite something. What? How is this happening? This guy is somehow able to hold two millibuckets of steam? <laughs> and explodicate all my pipes? What? Alright, so fluid filter, which is going to take uh, this stuff down to here. The carbon dioxide, not the steam. Then the steam can be sent down to here. But don't let the pipe murder you and steal your lunch money, okay? So I have the carbon dioxide set up. We're about to get the steam set up. And these filters are both set to filter drain. We're using a copper pipe because we don't have any of the small steel. We're going to get melted alive. Perfectly acceptable. Jump back straight into the nether. Uh, I mean, whatever this place is. I don't even care. We are getting close to the end game. So, soda ash and the chromite go together, they come, and then they, well, they basically make the final products of sodium chromate mixture, which is batch reacted with distilled water at medium voltage. Thankfully, I have such a machine on hold. Stand by. Where is that? Come on, advanced batch reactor. There we go. Yes, we are going to automate the process. Oh, uh, that's why I set up these pipes here, that's the first step, because now I actually have a legitimate reason to finish this setup. So, this is going to basically send our wonderful electricity down to this guy. Quite nice. As you can see, he's getting charged to 8,000 EU per thick. Sodium chromate, batch reactor, and distilled water. So, we're probably gonna pipe from this distillery all the way over to where we actually need it to go. Alright, so I just gotta shut out all of these pipes to prevent lag. I can already hear the battery reactor doing its job. I can hear it working pretty good. We're gonna take a look at it in a second. How's it looking? Probably pretty good. Check this out. Distilled water. Everything's working. It takes like 40 seconds. So it's gonna take a lot of energy to get this guy to do his stuff. But yeah, we should have automated this a long time ago. So, that gives us sodium chromate solution. Which then, sodium chromate solution is sent to yet another medium voltage machine, continuous third tank reactor. And that happens to be sitting in this place again. Now the only reason we have the medium voltage batch reactor is because we were making 3 ethyl aluminum or whatever. The stuff that it literally is the worst substance known to man. It is, it is, just wait till you make that. Go make it yourself. You will understand the suffering that it is to make that. <laughs> that is such a painful thing to make. But okay, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, continuous third tank reactor, making a new, completely new line. I'm not sure why we decided to do it over here. We're, we're literally just building on medium voltage, like straight off the grid. We need sulfuric acid pipes over the here. And uh, the sulfuric acid is upstairs. We actually do have a close enough setup for us to probably pipe sulfuric acid through. Uh, oh, this is the pipe for sulfuric acid. It's not actually close enough. I think I was thinking this might be close enough, but no. Great, it will fit. Uh, it will fit perfectly right in there. All right, so sulfuric acid is making it to the CSDR. This is the last thing we have to do, I think, for today. This is making sodium dichromate solution, which is then able to be distilled at low voltage or medium voltage if you're insane. Really, what we want is sulfuric acid back. That, that's like really all we want back. Else, also, we didn't need to pipe all this. <laughs> now, setting one just gives you the sodium dichromate, and then you can just send the rest of the stuff back, the fluids, back through the pipe, down to this guy again to react. And now we have sodium dichromate yet again, this time demanding a conveyor belt and an advanced roaster. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure that's what it needs. Wait. What? Why would we need that? 
Th this is the sodium chromate. This goes into a basic setup, I think. Yeah, and then we send it back through this guy. Okay. So at low voltage, you can get sodium sulfate solution. You can extract the sodium sulfate probably by distillation. Uh, you could probably just store that, though. But we're more concerned with the chromium trioxide, which is produced at low voltage by a another reactor. This guy, basically. So this will output to this guy, who's going to need sulfuric acid. And now he's running. He looks like an Among Us character. This gives a final product of chromium trioxide, which can then be, I believe it's roasted and reacted. So we put this guy down. We need our wire cutters connection. Roast, which gives oxygen, which we don't really need. And we'll, I'll change this out later for conveyor belts, but I'm going to be using the auto output mode because it's just much easier. All right, so it's connected now. This guy is getting chromium three oxide. Which we're basically gonna do the same thing as last time. It's basically thermite. <laughs> Just aluminum and some metal oxide. Nice! This should take no energy at all. I'm not sure why it takes energy. But it does. Giving the final product, chrome. Which is agonizing to make. But we've done it. We automated chrome. Well, I still have to fix all the outputs and stuff. Because there's so many fluid byproducts. I mean, look at this. Sodium sulfate, what the heck do we do with this? Well, first and foremost, we distill it for sodium sulfate dust. We then probably extract that into a liquid. Or not. We could make sodium bisulfate. Or we could do some other stuff to it. Roast it, even. Roast it for sodium sulfide and carbon dioxide. Which sodium sulfide is used in froth rotation. Chemical reactor. Anyway. Probably the most annoying byproduct is oxygen, as we are actually, right now, actively running, running out of space. We've already ran out of space. Uh, so to store oxygen, I'm going to need to build more multi-block tanks. And because I already have two, I don't want to build more. But at least I have the multi-block tank hall, which is going to make it cheaper to produce them, because I'll just be able to put them next to each other. How much canthol will this make? This will make 36, and I need about two stacks. And I'll see y'all when we have two stacks, probably.